Alrighty, welcome back, folks. Okay, there I am. Hey, welcome in. All right, so we're gonna continue where we left off on this drawing. All right, so we've got the Giver, Giver Unit One, and also Sailor V. I might want to adjust the pose for Sailor V. Kind of want her arm to uh, to go a different pose instead of like pointing outward. But if I do make it point outward, I might want to make her arm or her hand, her right arm, to stand out a little more outward. Like make it seem a little bit bigger. Like how I have Kyra One's hand here coming out here. So I'm not sure. I might want to adjust the pose or something. Redraw the pose for Sailor Venus. But I also want to get started on coloring as well. So what I could do is start coloring Giver. And then once I'm done with that, I could move on to Sailor V and do that. So I could probably go that route. Or I could just finish out the outline first for both characters and then do the coloring afterwards. So I don't know. I want to see what I can do with the pose first. I really want to try out the, the other pose that I'm thinking about for Sailor V. Let's see. So that's on layer R3. Let's see if I can disable this real quick. I noticed the um, the added colors over on Twitch dashboard and some of the icons for the activity feed. So the, the follows has like a heart icon. And the hearts for those icons are pink. Like there's this magenta pink, like a bright pink color. And also for the raid icons, there's a parachute, which is really cool for, for like a raid. And the color for that icon is yellow. It's a bright yellow, I noticed. So they seem to have added that today. I think for for January. Well, not January, for June. And I don't know, I'm not sure if there's any other icons other than that, just the raid and the follows. Uh, I haven't seen any host. But perhaps host would be a different icon for that. All right, anyways, let's see. Gonna try and adjust this pose. Okay, so I wanna make sure, yeah, this is a different file that's saved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase her right arm. We'll go about there. Get my playlist going. So I am also using a mouse, just a wired mouse. I don't know if this shows up on screen, but the wire is pretty short. It's a USB mouse, regular optical Microsoft one. I bought back in 2007, I think. So it's not really up to date or anything. And that's what I'm using to draw. Keyboard mouse. I also hope that my tablet is connected. Seem to be getting connection to chat messages. Right, yeah, so I just want to adjust uh, Sailor V's arms. I can. And I also want to. I mean, there's this parts of her outfit that's different from her Sailor Venus outfit. Which is why you see me have the guards on her shoulders coming out like that. Which is totally part of the Sailor V. But also she has like a sleeves on each of the arms or sleeves. Like short, short sleeves that... uh Distinguish, distinguishable from the rest of the Solar Scouts, or Sailor Scouts, Solar Scouts. Alright, 
I'm just gonna erase this part as well. And also, she she wears like uh, like there's there's the upper part of her body where it's like cut. And it's not a, a regular Sailor Scout skirt. It's more of the school skirt. From what I recall. So I, I, I basically um, made her look more like the Sailor Scout. Sailor Venus Scout design. Rather than the, uh, the V design. Alright, so... That... Okay, so what I want to do is, I want to make her hand, her arm, come out like right here or something. Hmm. I think it should be a little thinner, right? I think having her hand there would cover like a part of her hair. So let's see what happens if I erase this part here. And then she would have like two of her fingers up. The index finger and the middle finger to hold the the shades that she wears, I think that would be a pretty cool pose for the character. So let's see how this looks like here. I also don't want to like the cover the hair too much. Because her hair is like a, a big part of her character I, that I want to display too. Something like this, maybe. There's a cool bar about, about her eyewear. It's like it's got like these wings on the corners, which uh, is very unique for her character. Hmm. Yeah. See, now that I'm thinking, even if I don't have her holding the glasses like that or the the shades or whatever you call it, like I just have her pose where she's got the hand up. Doing like, you know, like that. And then the other arm would be like on her hips and stuff. Like, that would be a cool pose too for her character. So let me see if I can take away the, uh, what's this that I was thinking about doing. Also, I'm doing this free handed. Let's see. Because the original idea was to have her point outward, because that would be her signature move for Sailor Venus. But then when I thought about it, like, I mean, that would be Sailor Venus, but how about Sailor V? You never really see Sailor V all that much in both the, the manga and or the, the TV show, the animated series. And you don't see her like Sailor, as Sailor V doing any power moves in what I recall. Like you'll see the character pose and stuff in like still images, but you never see them like Mina as the character. So yeah, there's not a lot of info about the uh, Sailor B. Unless you read the manga, she does perform some um, some moves in that. trying to get her her outfit right but 
she does have some sleeves, so I'm gonna try and make sure all those sleeves are in here. And it's right underneath the shoulder part. Red and white, I think. And then there's more underneath the ribbon part. Just want to make sure that part is right too. out this way because the wind or they make it look like the the wind is blowing that way and her hair is flowing so probably makes sense to have the ribbons out like that and then you get this part of the ribbon flowing along with it so everything just flows together Shoulder armor. I think her shoulder armor is like mostly white colored. Make sure it's a little bit rounded too. And then her sleeves comes out. I also make make her arm visible, like really coming out. Something like this, maybe. And then also she's got her her gloves, mittens, gloves. I don't know how, what they call it. Gauntlets. She's also got some armor on her backside. So it's like what she wears at the upper body is what's protecting her, her shoulders and her, you know, the upper part of her body. It's almost like the, oh, what's the protective gear that they wear in like football fields? It's kind of like that. Look for a football player that wears that, you know, that part so it's more framed to the body I believe that's what it is Let's see. I'm trying to remember how the this part looks like I think it's like cut off like something like this that way she's got more movement and stuff be like 
schoolgirl dress that she wears. So it looks more ordinary schoolgirl dress rather than a wear as the Sailor Scout. Hmm. Yeah, let's make sure the lights are coming out this way. As long as the, the dress comes out flowing, it can appear like it's flowing. Should be good. See, I want to make her arm come out a little more though. Her left arm. Hmm. I mean, that looks about the right length. Let me see if we can get this part a little bit more rounded. I mean, otherwise, I could probably have her arm like outward, outward, like coming out this way. And then put it down like that. Because normally, a lot of the uh, official arts, their arms will come out this way. But I kind of want to give her a more heroic move or pose. Hmm. Yeah, there's not a lot of uh, photos of the scouts posing this way. Something like this, maybe. Yep, and there's the pinky. Yeah, something like that. They might need to make it a little bit thinner. I remember the episode, it was an episode of Sailor Moon where uh, we get a glimpse of the an animation studio that's trying to draw Sailor V or something and they they show like the, the length of one of the legs or something and the, the director or whoever's in charge was saying, oh, this leg is not the right length or whatever is like that. I always think about that for some reason when, whenever I'm drawing certain characters. Okay, it, it always brings me to that episode when I, that I saw as a kid, like, oh, because I, I always dream about being part of like a, an animation studio and working in that field where I'm being directed to draw characters a certain way. And then if I make the legs or arms too long, like the, the director would be like, oh, the, the, the arms and legs are not supposed to be this long. They're only supposed to be this long. And something like that. So, yeah, there's an episode like that in uh, Sitting Moon. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, ich bin dann da. Alright, since um, I, I feel like this character is more in the background, like it's still beside the Guyber, but kind of in the. Maybe I should just call it like the side ground. The side ground is more like it. Yeah. So, as as a side ground character, like some of the some of her, the the features would be well, appear a little smaller than they sh they you know they ought to be that you think they'd be compared to the character next to them. That center V has the same looking gloves. Possibly do. I mean, also each iteration that they do of this the franchise, they, they always look different. Even the remake, the crystal version of uh, the series, which is practically a remake based on the manga instead. It's more close to the manga. But it's also still very similar to the original animated show. Even the art style for it, it it's it's very close to the manga style, the original art by the original artist creator. No me forgot what her name is, full name is. And she also draws really long fingers for some reason, like even for the pinky, it, it always appears way longer than they ought to be. Let's see how does it look when? Okay, yeah. They always appear to have like very thin limbs, at least from what I, from what I remember. So I want to make note of that too. Like if, if I, I feel like, I, and, and also another thing is that they're teenagers, you know, sophomore-ish, freshman-ish. So you definitely want to keep them like to like a thin. Like a thin appearance. Don't want to exaggerate too much. And same thing for Sho Fukumaji, who is the Gyber. Sho Fukumaji Sho is also a high schooler. Like a lot of the the shows that I've watched here, show as in show, um, stars teenagers. It's the stories based on teenagers becoming superheroes. So.
Oh, speaking of teenagers, I hear that Seth Rogen's gonna be penning the next story for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Which is gonna be another reboot, I think. Seth Rogen. I think he also took part in making the animated... No, not the animated. The, uh, the previous Bay Turtles. The previous two live-action Bay... Uh, Michael Bay produced Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. So Seth Rogen is gonna be uh, leading that production, I think. And it's gonna make it more teenager-y. So hopefully it turns out well. I do have faith in some of his work. I enjoy some of his movies. He's appeared in Dark Donnie Darko, which I, I don't think a lot of people recall him in, but he is totally in there. He, he was there he was there for like a short moment inside the school, the school gym, I think, if I have a call. But he's appeared in a lot of movies. He's made a lot of movies. And he himself says that he is a huge fan of the Turtles, so... I trust him. I know that Johnny Knoxville has voiced, uh, I think, Leonardo in one of the recent Turtles iterations. So... I was, I was a bit skeptical when I, when I found that out. And then, when I watched the movie, turned out pretty well, so... Let's see how... these glasses, or... eyewear, are supposed to look. I don't want to make them too thick. They're also supposed to be like really round. Like the lens part of it is supposed to be really round. So I kind of want to mend that too. Also, if I could get, like, her eyes to shine through the lens, too, like, that would be cool, too. Alright, yeah, let's keep it like that for now. Yep. I got her hair. Man, my tablet is just, like, connecting, reconnecting. I'm also going to be losing support for Twitch. Uh, it will no longer work on IE, the Internet Browser, or the Internet Explorer web browser that's on Windows RT operating system. My tablet runs Windows RT, and even that OS, that OS entirely is no longer supported by Microsoft. So, and now IE is no longer working. Hopefully they could get the mobile version of Twitch to work still, because I kind of need it for like the pop-up chat or pop-out chat. Is what I mean, I mean the pop-out chat still works for mobile browsers, so why can't it work on you know like tablet that only came out in like 2013, you know? So it's only been like see, seven, eight, eight year old tablet. Also, this medallion here at the center should be moved to the right a little bit. 
make it a little more oval. Also, I, I, I noticed that the uh, Celery does have like a moon, crescent moon symbol on her forehead rather than a tiara. Also, some sort of coloring on her shirt. Forgot how it looked like, though. just goes down this way it's like a, a stripe of some sort that goes up and then down this way like across the, uh, the top part of the body like it almost make it look like a jacket that she's wearing a jacket like a little small jacket so I'm not quite sure I kind of fix her scare a little bit. I'm not sure if I want to keep their like legs this way. And then the arms should be a little bit more rounded at the elbow part. Imagine how it will look like.
たんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんたんた
<laughs> I got the uh, most of the parts ready. Not sure if I want to keep the hair this way. It sure looks like hair for real. Oh, I also want to change the arm pose here with the Giver. Let me see. So that's R3. Giver is R1. Oh my gosh, why is the arm missing here? Let's see. Should probably add that part. Make that round part of the elbow. Let's do it. I think just adding the two rings to the gloves is good enough. I'm not sure if there's th two or three, but I think two is good. Because it's like symmetrical with the other parts of the outfit. Design wise, that's, you know, it's just consistent in the design. Sometimes you'd see three, sometimes you'd see two in some iterations. Hey there, Techno! Over on Trillo. Man, I rarely get any uh, folks coming in on Trillo. But welcome in. Oh my gosh, I, I'm supposed to host this uh, server or session. So let me see if I can do that real quick. Anime. That's my ID. I don't know. Can, can we set this as a private? Oh, it doesn't let us. Public. Right, room code. Alright, I'm just gonna remotely set it to drop house server. It's my username. There. Now we're connected. I gotta keep my session safe for work. Make sure this ribbon is flowing in the wind, or at least appear to be. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the, the shadows for these characters. over here too. It'll probably appear once I put the diver back on. I don't know how they design these skirts. Like over in Japan they have uh, the creases for the, the dresses. Or skirts I mean. And I guess Korea too. Korea has a uh, very similar looking school outfits. It's just how they have it over there, how they design clothes over on the eastern part of Asia. I guess, I guess this like all, pretty much all parts of Asia then, because I, I noticed them in like in like other parts of Asia as well. So it could be like an Eastern thing. 
where they gotta wear uniforms, dresses. Kinda like private schools that they have over here. Private schools or Catholic schools. You know, they gotta have the uniforms. I should do it. So I'm sure about the legs, like how the legs should appear. And I'll keep them to simple lines for now. Maybe just keep them like that all the way through. I don't know. Just like thin out the uh, the outlines a bit so that they look like they're fading. Just let them fade towards the bottom. Something like that. Alright, let's bring out the Guyver again. Yeah, lots of prior US schools are adopting that. Oh, nice! I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of late. <laughs> it, it's like, it's funny that they're doing that now. Like, it's, it's already late into the, you know, <laughs> to the idea. Hey there, Green Clapfrog. Is that Sailor Bobby Hill? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Bobby could be in the, uh, in, in either one of these. Outfits right now. Oh, I've seen I've seen some fan arts where they combine uh, Sailor Moon and Hank, uh, King of the Hill. Uh, it's a very famous one over on Demon Art, I think. Many years back, that drawing gets posted to all the chat rooms. I see it from time to time. It's pretty funny. Like you have the the entire crew, the Hank, uh, the King of the Hill crew, hanging out at the uh, the fence, you know, having their drinks. And then each of the uh, characters, Boomhauer, you know, these they're all wearing the uh, the outfits, the Sailor Scout outfits. And you got the hairdo. I forgot who the artist was, but yeah, definitely seen that around. That's my purse. I don't know you. Let's see. I think once I start putting in the colors, it won't appear as it's like you're seeing some of the uh, lines coming through. All right, so, so I wanted to adjust the uh, the Guyver's right arm. Let's see. Increase the size a bit. So uh, I want his elbow to be a little bit higher. Not so much like this. Now we're we're viewing him from like an angle, but I want to get this arm. Because I mean it's supposed to be like an action pose. But when you're in this action pose, and especially from this angle, like straight forward like that, it's like this arm has to be a little bit higher, I think. Like it has to be coming out this way. Like something like this. Then the fist would be right there. Yeah, this this makes more sense. See, like the arm coming out this way makes more sense. And then the blade would come out here this way, see? See, I'm, I'm currently just correcting myself. And yeah, like I have to look in the image like, hmm, it's something about this image that it, it's not, uh, see now it looks, now it looks a little more actiony. Like you can see the characters more ready for fighting, you know? When you have the arm down there, it wasn't like, It didn't, it didn't look as, uh, what's the word, convincing as how, how this one does. So, this one's a little bit better. Alright, now I'm just going to make sure the lines blend in.
it is good to to just like just doodle around like start somewhere just do like a random character pose and especially especially for character drawings like just do some random character pose and then see where it goes and then you can correct yourself if you make any mistakes like you start to notice oh maybe i could do it this way could do it that way this is what uh but I came to find my drawing here. There you go. Now it's coming. I feel like the shoulders need to be a bit bigger. Like, especially this one here. At least for this character, shoulders are definitely supposed to be bigger. Oh yeah, yeah. This uh, this is the midnight. Current one is seventeen. I think it should be in view now. It's also at the top, um, top right. Playing on Winamp. Good old Winamp. And this is just an instrumental version. It's not the uh, the vocal. And the next one coming up has some ethnic vocals. I, I know. I know the. Uh, I've listened to this album like so much that I know what song is gonna come up next. But I tend to listen to the instrumental version a lot, rather than the vocals, for some reason. But maybe one of these days I'll, I'll probably bring out the, uh, the vocal version. But yeah, I think this is the Monsters album, if I recall. Let me check the file info real quick. Yep, it's the Monsters album. That's the latest album. It came out this year. Oh yeah, the guitar solo? Yeah. Yeah, they're really good with the guitar solo. They're known for their saxophone, mostly. But yeah, once in a while, some of their tracks has the uh, guitar solo, which is really cool. Oh my gosh. And they have remix albums too, volumes 1 and 2, on Silk. The Silk label. I, th I think, yeah, I think it's called... Something to do with Silk, I forgot what it was. I don't know if there's a second word, I forget. I think it's just Silk Music, that's what's probably what it was. But yeah, there's this, this is a remix album, it's more progressive housey, rock house. But they, they really blew up the last like couple years, after they got signed to uh, Silk, and then with all these remixes in the Ajuna label, oh my gosh, and being featured on Ajuna group therapy radio that I listen to every week. Their shows are always on Fridays and I tune into them. They've got a big partnership with uh, Twitch as well. So you can actually play some of the tracks from the Ajuna label on Twitch and it won't have a uh, copyright strike unless you're playing on YouTube. <laughs> so I used to, I used to have um, their Spotify playlist playing just to see what tracks are on there and, and it seems to be mostly like the newer stuff not much the older stuff and I, I've made the requests over on Twitter to, to and ask them to add some of the older stuff that I used to listen to but they're mostly known for like the trance music but lately it's, it's mostly like the progressive house genre that's been mixing in with that label.
Okay. The hand part here seems... Seems fine enough. Make sure this display part is ready to go. Ready for action. I, I, I like this one here. This one's called uh, Prom Night. Yeah, this is the one that uh, I've been playing last week, last couple of weeks. You know, it sounds like we're going out sh shopping or something <laughs> in the summertime. This one's got a little bit of guitar too. There's a blade. I feel like this blade out here might need to be a little bit longer. This blade a little sharper. Time for new clothes to impress the ladies before school starts kind of out. Yeah. Yeah, that. The school shopping days. Now the clothes are like 10 years old. Yep. Oh my gosh, I, I still have like clothes from like high school that I still wear. And they all still fit. There are like some sweaters, like athletic sweaters that I would wear back in high school. And I just cut the sleeves. Because the sleeves are like <laughs> ripped. At least, especially at the end part, so I just cut them off. So they, they turn into like short sleeve sweaters with a hoodie. I used to wear a lot of hoodies back then. Still do, kind of. Mostly wintertime. So that, I mean, they're just like good uh, home wear, you know? Like comfort clothes you wear at home. Especially in winter time. That's why I put on the uh, all the hoodies. Winter time, autumn, it's autumn season. Call them the hoodie season. All right. I think it might start coloring. A few more lines here. I feel like his legs need to like come out this way. You know, I'm curious to see how. I want to hear how the lyrics version of this song sounds like. Let me add it to the... I want to add this to the list. If I can find it. I don't know if I can find it. Let's see. Actually, what? where is this located anyway? Okay. It's on the D drive. No wonder. Hopefully I don't double click and it just auto, auto plays the song. All right. Oh, here it is. Um, prom night. All right, I'm gonna drag it in. There we go. Hope this is the correct one. It might just be the instrumental. <laughs>
forgot how his legs, this guy's legs look like. I think it's like, I don't know if it's like wrapped up all the way around, or it's just like a shield like that. Man, I forgot. I'm just going to assume that it wraps all the way around. There's Tyler on the vocals. Alright. Oh, I forgot to add uh, the mouth part. So it be. I took her mouth out and then I forgot to draw. Hmm. I'm having second thoughts whether to have her eyes uh, shown through the the eyewear. Should probably draw it out just to see how it looks like. Eyelashes. Hmm. Yeah, I need like a smaller brush to get in there. It's 
something like that. Oh my gosh. I feel like I should probably like darken the lines a bit more. Alright, let's make sure I'm on R1. Alright, see. Okay, so add a few more lines to the guy right here. It's usually the face part is where it's got the most detail. I remember how the uh this part looks like man I think it has like some sort of a oh yeah yeah now now it's coming back to me I feel like I gotta zoom into his face to get more details in there. I'm working with like a three pixel brush. Hmm. I feel I need to make this part a little bit bigger. I forgot what the, how the top layer, the top part of his head looked like up here, like underneath this antenna part. I think it's antenna, or whatever the, the blade part of his helmet is. Like underneath that part, I forgot how it looks underneath it. Let's get some random lines in there. Some more lines to his chest area. Makes this, I need to make his chest give a little more depth, more detail. Okay, 
okay so the muscle part or like the biceps part is they're just like lines kind of look like human muscles lines just wrapping around like that like for the bicep and then like on the side of the bicep that's the uh the piece of armor what I remember see I'm trying to like to remember it yeah I think it's just like one single plate going down I think man logging back memory without looking in the photos is like you gotta travel back to a time mentally and come back and like try to draw it out that's the cool thing about art you just gotta use your memory it's like all muscle memory and just exercising that muscle memory I think I mean, that's that's when it comes to art that that's pretty much what it is using what you've learned and try to remember it and yeah it's like just like cooking I guess then you then that's how you just master Add a little bit of detail. Okay, I think we can start coloring. The, the only real thing I want to do more of is just like bolding up the line a bit. Like all the outline, just bolding it up. But I could probably fill that in with like color, like around the edges and stuff. Top right side that wasn't supposed to. Alright. Now let's add another layer. Oh, also, let me take out Celery for a minute and show you the previous character that I wanted to draw. This was another idea that I didn't go with. So. Yeah, this tuxedo mask on the other side. But I went with Sailor V instead. Wait, which Okay, so that's layer one. Let me erase this here. Okay. Let me keep that in you. Maybe another layer. This will be the color layer. I'll name it R1. Oh my gosh, we're like an hour in. Right. So we move that layer underneath the outline. Then we start filling in the color. So Gyra 1 unit is mostly blue with some um, sometimes red. Not really red, it's like a maroon color underneath for the veins part. But like the armor pieces are mostly like bluish color. Let's see if I can get this. Oh my gosh, what color is this? It shows me like a oh this is an eraser. Okay, let's see. Let's get the brush. Oh that oh that's weird. Why is it giving me this color? Okay, there we go. Alright, so paints underneath it. It's like more of a grayish gray or grayish uh, blue. Not very, very blue, but like, yeah, like this color, I think. Like a, a dull blue. But he looks really cool in like silver. 
So if that's the case, I should probably bring the outline for Sailor V underneath the color then. Because she's supposed to appear like behind him. I should probably put these two only work for me instead of uh, for everyone. Yeah, so but layer one should be for everyone. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so color. Size, let's decrease the size a bit. Right, so, this will probably be the base color. Kind of want to put in some highlights where we'll see like, some brighter blues, like more silvery blues. Even for the blade. It's also got the same color. Like each of the gallery units uh, bear a certain color. At least for the armor part. The metallic part. Normally there are two tone colors. But Gabby one just happens to be like a bluish color. And then Gabber 2, at least for the animate series and the manga. Gabber 2 unit, which is the damaged unit, is like a more tannish color for the armor pieces. Then what they made for the movie was it wasn't necessarily Gyra 2. It was a it was a cross between Gyra and a Zonoid. Zonoid is the, the monsters that the Gyra go destroy. So that was very unique for the live action films, is that they brought some lore that wasn't told anywhere else. Not in, not even in the the manga, not even in the animated series. It was made exclusively for the film. So that was what's cool about that second film, Dark Hero. So they brought something new to it to the table. Fade out here. Comes the sex. Yeah, something like that. Alright, let's cover this side. I should probably bring the opacity all the way up, huh? Man. There you go, now we're getting some colors here. I should probably just like color the entire body and then whichever parts that is different from this color I'll probably do it as long as I get the space that's like necessarily to fill in oh hey there Ratanak now you have my cousin's name. His name is also Ratanak. We just call him Knat. Welcome in. We're doing some art tonight. Let me know if you're familiar with any of these characters. Yep. 
Wednesday nights or art nights. At least I try to keep it this way. And then every other night is just, uh, you know, I play Monster Hunter. Play Pokemon Snap on Saturdays, and also Animal Crossing on Fridays, so tomorrow. Definitely wanna boot up Animal Crossing. Oh, it's something with the Komodian tag? Nice. Sweet. Ah! Jedi of Sulabot! Jedi of I got a Chapet too, you know. Didn't read about Twitch bug yet. Oh, it's, it's okay, man. No problem. Yeah, I, I found out that uh, they, they started adding more tags to Twitch. I'm like, whoa. Let me see if they have the uh, the Asian the Asian tag. And then I looked at it. Oh, they have some Asian tags. And then I, I searched even further. Yo, they got the Cambodian tag too? Yo, I'm going to add that. I'm going to add that. So here I am. You know, I met some, some few uh, Cambodian streamers on Twitch as well. Like, I randomly just found them a few years ago. Uh, goes by the name of Gunho for Show. Based in Cali. Small town in Cali. And uh, he runs a donut shop. And uh, we've been friends ever since back in 2016. I found him playing Fatal Frame, one of my favorite uh, franchises. The scary game where you take photos of ghosts. But yeah, he, he, did, he also did some art. He saw me, he he knew me doing art too. And then uh started making like that a thing for Wednesdays. Uh it actually helped find more Komodo Instagram. Yeah, exactly. I think that's that's what's good about these tags now. Like they have all kinds of tags. They added like over 350 of them. Like a few days ago. So I started using some of them. Halli is another one that I, I added. Uh, for for the month of uh, June, which is Pride Month, so I'll probably use it for this amount uh, for the month of June for Pride Month, just for discovery purposes. At least until they add more tags. Like if if they can, if they, I mean now that we have more tags. To add like if only they could increase the amount of tags that we can add to our channel like that would help a lot too because you can only add like a max of five per session or whatever and it would be good to have you know to add more as much as we can just to tell the world what we're all about so yeah uh video games art on my channel I've been going on for many, many years on many different sites. I built my computer in 2007. I think 2008 was when I really started doing video games, like featuring video games. Uh, on Ustream, on Mogulus, Blog TV. So many sites you probably never heard of because they no longer exist or under different operations. But uh, I've migrated from like many different sites, and Twitch is, is is another alternative place. There's some other ones that I'm on currently right now. Uh, but yeah, I try to I try to be everywhere. I think uh, I think. Secluding to just like limiting yourself to like one place. I, I just can't I just can't take six in one place. I gotta I gotta be everywhere, you know? Because you never know when like a site as, as as big as Twitch would go down someday. Then you would have to look for a place to like migrate to, right? I mean after all the sites I've been on and, and seen them fall one after another. It's like it, it's bound to happen someday, right? Some of the social networks. Look at MySpace. What what happened to MySpace, right? It used to be popular one time. Where where is MySpace now? They're still around, but they're not as popular as before. So, I mean that that could give you an idea of what may happen. 
Uh, yeah, I've been on for a while. If, if you click, I don't know if you have a BTTV plugin installed or, or one of the plugins would keep track of uh, the dates of each account. So if you have Better Twitch TV plugin installed, you can click on a username in a live chat or a user list and you can see the date of, uh, of when they signed up that account. So my account is actually originally in a Justin TV account. And Justin TV was the parent site before Twitch came out, before they made Twitch. So just in case you, you, you haven't heard of Justin TV, that's the uh, armor doesn't have to be. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really use Opera, but that's a. Uh, that's neat to know. I would assume that there would be a plugin for all the major browsers. I feel like Opera should, should at least have one too. But let me see. Let me try something real quick. Follow. Is it account age? I think it's account age. So since I do have stream elements attached to my channel, I think this should do it. There you go. Ralph Southern was created 12 years and 11 months, 12 days and 5 hours ago. Wow. They even count the hours, man. So yeah, that's another way to find out um, how old someone's account is. Is if they have stream elements installed, or not installed, but like attached as the mod or whatever. And then you can do that command and see how old their account is. Oh my gosh, is that an Ash or a Pokemon trainer emote? <laughs> That's a cool emote. Oh, that's a self emote oh, or self uh, portrait. That's cool. Yeah, speaking of Pokemon, I can't I can't wait to hop back onto uh, Pokemon Snap. Definitely want to go back to that uh, that jungle area and snap some more photos. Oh, VTuber, nice. Yeah, I've seen a lot of a lot of uh, VTubers around. You do you do need stream readers as well? Great touching Nintendo games. Oh, oh, I'm all about Nintendo, dude. Oh, PC. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I'm both uh, Nintendo. I'm pretty. I kind of, I'm kind of all around, but not. Uh, but mostly Nintendo and. Uh, and whatever's on Steam that I play. Played a lot of Left 4 Dead back in 2008 onwards into 2010 and stuff. Both the part one and part two. Actually, I guess I could just throw in all the Valve games that I've ever played. Portal, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress, whatever. Half-Life series, but mostly Left 4 Dead series. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till uh, the original team come out with a uh, back row blood. And I, I was hooked on Dota 2 back in like 2012 when I got invited to the beta. Before that, prior to Dota 2, I was playing League of Legends in 2010. So this is way back 2010. That's more like 10 years ago. Oh, I don't see streamers. Main content is just Team Fortress, and I do play other games. Oh, nice! Like Team Fortress 2, right? Not the not the OG Team Fortress. <laughs> but that's cool that uh, there's still some uh, TF2 players out there. 
I haven't done much TF2 in a long time. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe, maybe someday uh, I'll think about reinstalling it and then hopping back on there. Is, is there any new content for TF2? I like the last time I remember playing that was just getting like a pre-order of another game, like some indie game, to, to just to get a TF2 hat, <laughs> just to just to use the hat in TF2. It's showing off my hat. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there any players on? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah, it's mostly to get to get those hats in TF2. The last major update was three years ago. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Alright, we got the balloons in. Let's just even try to find the color for the inside part. Hmm. It looks like something like a dark purple. Let's try this color here. Oh my gosh, this is like a deep. Okay, no. Why not this color? Should be more grayer. Okay. Also, why am I using this brush? Let's go with this one here. Uh, it's been neglected and lots of bots have been roaming around. Oh my gosh. Wait, for TF2? Really? Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, what I assume so because like, there's a lot of people that used to play TF2 have now hopped onto like games like Overwatch or Fortnite, which I don't play. <laughs> I don't I don't play any Fortnite or any of the, the modern stuff. Fall Guys is another one. Like like ever since the esports scene has become a thing. Like, I don't know. I mean I, I played Dota, but that was that's pretty much it. Dota League of Legends, like early League of Legends, when it was still really toxic. <laughs> it's it's still toxic now, but I think mean, that's probably the reason why I hop into Dota 2 instead. Even Dota 2 is like still kind of toxic in some cases, but way much less toxic than what League of Legends was and is. I think this dark purple might be it. It's not this, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I think this one might be. Any mobile game is toxic. Oh yeah. Well, any 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 online multiplayer game, I think like that's that's <laughs> that's where it is. But yeah, any toxicity can can be expected from online, like a popular online mobile game or online any game. And it can get toxic locally too. Not just it doesn't have to be online. It, it can be locally too. <laughs> I've played with some toxic players locally, and I just I just laugh my my ass off when it happens. <laughs> oh man! All right, take it easy, man. Thanks for dropping in. I'll be sure to uh, swing by your channel when I get a chance. Six seconds. All right, one. All right, probably can go. I don't know. I might want to try and color as much as I can within the next hour or so. At least the Guyver character here. I know his palms are also purpley. I don't think he, there's any pieces of armor on his palms.
man. This makes me wanna wanna hear the uh the theme song for Guy right now. I love the music for 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 the animated show. I used to sing along to it every time. And I, I specifically remember going over my neighbor's house. And and they were watching I was showing them the Guyver for the first time. They 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 watched it for the first time. And I still had them on VHS. Brought the VHS tapes over. We watched it together and I would sing along to the theme songs because I was so excited to like show new people the show. And then they would look over to me <laughs> singing to the song. <laughs> like I specifically remember that. Oh my gosh, those were exciting times. I've seen some really cool cosplays. People that, that cosplay the uh, the Gyver units and stuff. Oh my gosh, I've seen like uh, like the female Gyver who has only appeared in I I think the the OVA like the original animated uh, episode or I, I think you can just call it a movie, right? It's only that one animation that they did that featured. The female Giver, which just happens to be a Giver too, but female, <laughs> like the second Giver unit, but female. So I think they call her Giver Two F, the F standing for female, and her colors, her armor color is mostly purple. I forgot what the uh, like the insides were color. Yeah, it was a very unique uh, design. It's pretty much like Gary one with uh, with boobs, <laughs> with bombs, like armored bombs, which is uh, pretty weird. But then the whole series is uh, very sci-fi-ish, weird as well. Weird but cool. Man, I feel like the veins need to be like a little more redder. Yeah, I'm not sure if this this purple is the is the right color for it's like, it's like this dark color here. It's like that. It's like something like this or something. It might be a little too dark. It's like a dark maroonish, a dark. Uh, Let me, try, let me try these colors here. Oh, I think it's like this too. Man. Play around with some of these colors and see what, what could work. See, like, like a blend of this together. Something like this, I think. Like a purpley blue. It's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I can definitely get it to look the way it should. Yeah, something like this. Like purpley blue. But not too purpley. It's almost like a, a blues or not blues, uh, a bruised color 
of human bruise color. There we go. Yeah, purpley, but a little bit more bluish in there. Let's get this a little bit more darker too. So let's just color this in. Yeah, something like that. And then this part here, let's so color this part in. And fade it up. Outward, upward. Yeah, I feel like this this blue color should be the shadow. <laughs> shadows and then highlights layer let's go oh yeah it should be right underneath the the R1 outline layer let's go with shadows Oops. it's gonna be on top of the color Alright, let's go for more darker. Darker color here. Uh, opacity. It should be on top of the color. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there it is. Now it shows. Race. Capacity should be like way lower. I want to make this armor like shine too. I want to make sure like the light source is somewhere above them, possibly to 
the top left corner. Oh man, this reminds me, I need still need to finish that Goldar drawing way back. Oh, you know what? I forgot to enable my my slideshow. Hold up. My gosh, we're like almost two hours in. I've got to show the slideshow. So these, you look at the, uh, I think it's supposed to be that way. Yeah, there you go. All the way to the far left of the uh, frame. I do have some, uh, some art that I've done in draw file of some characters from animated shows that I used to watch growing up. This Rocko's Modern Life. Rocko from Rocko's Modern Life. I think I drew that for a someone's birthday. Lynn's birthday. And there is My Valentine from Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, I, I was supposed to enable that uh, slideshow a long time ago. There's Mirror from Animal Crossing. I, I also did these on stream too. I, I just I never got to archive them or save them as a highlight. There they are. And there's Paper Mario. Uh, specifically from The Origami King. I completed that game last year and it was great. I love the story, love the characters. It inspired me to, to draw Paper Mario. This Bulbasaur. Oh, that's Krillin. I, I meant to do that Krillin like months ago, or it's will be part of a project where you draw uh, six fan arts, I think, the six fan arts hashtag on social media. So you basically just draw like, you know, six fan arts requested from your followers and then post it on social media and just never got to finish that gold art. <laughs> so I might, I might, uh, I think I put that on pause because I wanted to, uh, to do Animal Crossing. So I might bring that up someday, bring that back and finish it. There's this little that needs to be done, but I want to I get as much done with it as possible before I post it. Alright, this fist needs to be a little more shadowy. Also, the rest of this arm. There you go. Just like that. I'm just gonna add some more shadows down here. There was those one for the one I did of Goku uh, from the original Dragon Ball. That I need to add to that slideshow. I gotta find that image. Hopefully, I remember to do it next time. Oh, sunset. Tablets like going in and out.
two, three, get back. Wow, adding these shadows makes it look so much more detailed, man. The shadows make so much of a difference. The outline is just, you know, just to start out with, just to get the image going. But man, the shadows, once we add the highlights, it's going to look more realistic. That's just usually how the art goes, man. Here we go. Way more depth. Look at that. Look at the chest plates. Not sure of the right color. Actually, like, yeah, that's right. But the shadows come from the, uh, the helmet. But there need to be more shadows down here, though. And then maybe this part here, shaded, this is the helmet. I'm really liking how it's coming out so far. But he got the man. <laughs> seeing seeing Guyver unit in blue, colored in. Can't wait to add some highlights. Let's get some... Decrease the size of the brush so I can get in more details. And the helmet here. There's a few shadows that I want to add. Yeah, I'll probably need to like zoom in on the image later on, just so I can get more detail then. Also, I need to disable the preview so I can make it a little smoother. Just the outlines too, but maybe later. Let's the size bit. It's like hard to see my brush when it's like that small. The cursor becomes like really, really small. Or the solo. Wait, do I have the vocal version of this added? Oh, I need to add the vocal version of this. Let's see if it's in the phone the same folder. Ah, uh, it's probably not. I think it's, it's a different album. I do like the vocal version of this. I'll oh, bike. Ride my bike to it in the summertime. I should probably add some more shading to the fingers as well. So they don't look too flat. Index finger here. Got Jason.
I need some more shadows in his palms. And his arm part. I'm a darker blue shadow. Let's bring out the, uh, the darker spots. Maybe not necessarily. Should be, should be good for the shading. Hmm. I have some uh, some highlights now. Right here. 
back underneath the outline. Let's see what color I can use. Let's go. Let's go for this light blue. Shining a bit of lighter. It looks like it's purpley. Purpley. But it's a very that's a very shiny one. Okay. Depending on, on how shiny we want to go. It's a very shiny. Side here too.
Dude, like, the highlighting makes it look so much cooler. And uh, I don't mean to say it like like a punny way or anything, but man, for some reason, like this brush, uh, it has probably something to do with this brush that makes the coloring look like it's um, like a little more s contrasty or saturated. Then I, I I mean to get it to look, but yeah. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool, though. I can make, uh, the blades look like they're really shining. Sharp and shine. I also don't want to overdo it. I just want to make, want to make parts of the armor shine. Not all of it. some LA dreams. So guy one does have some light blue-ish colors. The, and the light blue cross with like silvery. I was thinking like another way to describe them, like the colors, would be like almost like Robocopy. But Robocop is mostly like silvery too. So think Robocop, but a little bit more blue. Like he, d Robocop does have some blue hues on him in terms of like the, the design, and you might notice a little bit of purples on his his armor in the sequel Robocop 2, where I, I feel like it's probably the best design. It's an updated design for Robocop, and it really shines in that one. The uh, purple hues, you definitely notice some purple hues, like there are parts of the armor you can... where it gives like this chameleon look to it, and it's only for like the small rounded parts, which I really like. Really appreciate any of the Robocop artworks that has that. This blade shining. Uh, let's go bigger size. Oh, why did uh, the mouse do that? I didn't make this look more like a blade than like, just. It's gotta be a way to make it like shine. in a way that <laughs> real blades shine. And this is fine too. Let's see. The smaller size. It's sharp around this, this corner here. I forgot what they call it in the series, like hyper something. It, it, it's a something related to sound, like hyper 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 wave or something like that. Hyper wave blades, something like that. Hypersonic or something like that. But not supersonic, it's like hypersonic or something like that. It sounds something like that. Alright, so I feel like I I feel like the, the insides it's a little bit 
different color. I don't know. But what, what we have so far is pretty cool. What the colors of so far. I don't want to mistake it too much for Gyra 3, which is mostly purple. But it's got a more purpley body armor. Alright, let's get. Let's get this part of the leg. Just a little bit of it. Don't want to do too much. Yeah, something like that. And then up here. Let's make it come down. It's gonna shine. Yeah, something like that. Oh my gosh. Man, this these highlights, man. They make so much of a difference. Highlights and shadows. Alright, let's get some on his abs. Abs part. And it also makes it the, the highlights also gives it like this uh not only the shape, but also like a different color, like what you might think the texture or color of whatever the object is really look like. So that's the beauty of shadows and light. Alright. So, let me see. I should probably fill in some more of the purpley parts. Oh my gosh. See, if I take out the color, you get the highlights and the shadows. Let's go back on there. Let's fill in the rest of it. Hopefully I got the right color. Start bringing the opacity up. No, I don't think this is the color. Hmm. Probably should be I'm trying this one here. This one's a really dark purple. I think this is what I use for the shadows. It is fine too. I guess I can go with this. Hmm. Actually, this, this would be good for making some of the lines of the veins. Let's make a few more here. Be a little bit messy, but it's okay. Let's make this a little bit thinner. Yeah, let's get some more on his hands here. Wrap some of these around his thumb. So they basically look like worms. Worms that's like wrapping around his body. It's like really freaky and alien. So like you can hear the character. If you watch a show, you can hear the character like screaming. It's like wondering what the heck is happening to me? as he's transforming into the Gyver for the first time. Really cool show, man. Definitely want to watch it again. Uh, I forgot what this part looks like. Get some random lines.
should be way darker down here. Let's add some more shadows. Instead, this is on the color layer. That's fine. I like how, uh, as I'm doing these lines, they, they, they sort of add more shadowy areas, like darker areas, to some of the body parts. I need to fix the neck area a little bit more. I think they're supposed to be pink, man. Now that I think about it, it's supposed to be like a lighter color. Let's see, I don't think... It's not not really pink, it's like... Oh man, it's hard to describe the color, but... But maybe, maybe purple makes sense too. I don't know. I feel like the purple is just too... Gyra 3 ish Gyra 3 is, is a lot more purpley. And, and darker colors. Actually, no, Gyra 3 is purple and red. Like the veins part are, are more reddish colored. So actually, yeah, this this makes sense. This is this is right. It's like purpley, but it should be more grayish color, like more or less saturated, I think. Oh well, this is good enough. All right, um, I forgot what color his eyes are. I think this would be like a light bluish. Oh. A brand new color. See so you can fill in his eyes a bit. Oh my gosh, no, this is a very aquash. Should be. Nope. It's too gray. I feel like one of these, like the highlight color. I think like one of these, right? Okay, yeah. Let's go with one of these. Keep a solid opacity. And also the metal parts, like his eyes. Not 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 this these eyes, but like the medallions and these circly parts of his helmets are more silvery, silvery. So either keeping them white or like a grayish silver would be ideal. Sort of gives out this highlighted color. Okay. Let's see if we can go a silvery color. In this area. Just a little bit lighter. Or else it's gonna blend to the background. Yeah, I think they should be this color. Oh wow. They just like they shine right through the background. The metal here. I should probably add some like
some more reflective parts to those metal parts. Hmm. Okay, so there should be a little purple. Some colors. I barely see it. It's a little more darker than it's supposed to be. Let's bring it past it down here too. I forgot what uh, what colors these uh, circle things are here. These smaller ones. I think it's like red and green. The green ones would be on the side, and this one would be red or something. See if I can I'm gonna add some marks to the eyes. Sometimes you'd see some of the marks like this on the eyes. I don't want to make too many, but let's adjust the opacity down. I'm gonna make slight marks to the eyes. Oh, another thing to note is that the, the movie version of the Gyra unit, or especially just Gyra 1, is that the eye parts of them is pink. They use like pink lens, and, and that's a nice contrast too for his eyes. And having that color mixing in with the rest of the, the armor, it's pretty neat. Steve Wang did a bang up job on that design. I don't want to add too much lines to it or else it look like it's like shadowy. Oof, I should use a different color, huh? I can always go back and uh, redo the lines though. That's fine. Okay, um... Let's add, uh... Oh, there's another metal down there too. Let's fill that in. That is supposed to be... That's, that's adding gray. So that's what I add. Let's... Then maybe I can add like blues to it to make it look 3D. So let's go shadows. Let's choose like this color or something. Here, they're supposed to be his extra eyes. 
should be more silvery. But I'll add those shadows there. There we go. The metal part here is this the control panel. I think. I forgot what's oh, I forgot what the correct term is. Um, yeah, is it control panel or something? I forgot what they call it now. But yeah, you basically gotta plug that out, like pluck it out, in order to deactivate the Giver unit. That is part of the Giver lore. <laughs> oh man, really liking how this is coming out. I need to put some more greens, greens and reds. Let's see. Uh, I forget which part or which one of these uh, ball parts is where it is, where it's supposed to be green, where it's supposed to be red. Hmm. Let's go down to color. Oh man. Just have to remember when it's been like that long. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna make this part red. It's supposed to be like a much smaller ball. This would be the, the, the little ball that shoots out the lasers, from what I remember. It's either that supposed to be red or it's supposed to be green. I don't know. Let's make it a brighter red. And then the ones on the sides there, the smaller ones should be green. Let's get like a middle green. Oh man. <laughs> See now having the green there, I think I think it's the other way around. I think these two should be red and then the middle one's green. I don't remember anymore. But this is good enough. We're on the right track. some more armor color to his throat area. Oh man, I don't even have the base color anymore. Let's see if we can do eyedropper. Let's color this part in. Yeah, this will be a part of his throat. Let's get the opacity up. Even though there were, there were no outlines for it. There we go. Something like that. I should probably make some shine too. I don't even know if I have the, the right highlight color selected. Oh no, that's way too much power. Get past these all the way up there. Something like that. 
what was this supposed to do? This outline part. Go back and erase that part. It might have been part of his arm, or his shoulder. Let's bring the sh shape down. Yeah, let's erase this part here. There we go. Oh, I feel like. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the highlights here. And then let's get. Let's see if this part shows. There's really like two different layers of the pipes part. Where he shoots out his like smoke or whatever steam, whatever happens. It's supposed to be like two different layers. It comes out. Which is pretty cool. First time you see that on the character, man. I was like, wow, what is this going on here? It looks really cool. So much coolness. Alright, let's add some more highlights around his face. Shiny. Ooh, like how it really gets like shiny up there. I should probably clean up that outline up there. Make it a little sharper. Just thinning it out, thinning out, thinning out the outline makes it look uh, sharper. Oh, there you go. Got to be really careful. Be making those turns there. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Just cut like a big chunk there. It's okay. Oh, I see what I did. Okay, so the color. Where the highlight? Yeah, that's part of the color. Just shave that part off. There we go. Now it's a lot sharper. Alright, so before I do anything else, I'm going to save this as a different version. For stream. There we go. Alright. So far, two and a half hours. I think I'm going to start filling in some basic colors for Scyther V. Before I start wrapping things up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and also gonna mute my mic for a bit too, because we got folks on.
so uh, so far we got her dress uh, her cape part colored in it's a very bold very royal blue deep blue color uh, her ribbons also red and it's probably the same red as I have her the ribbon at the front so let's see I think it's this right here. Still on the color layer. Just filling in the, the basic colors for Sailor V here. And I, I think we only have time for filling in the, the basic colors tonight for Sailor V. But try and get in as much as I can. Uh, most of the night is it's been uh, finishing up the outlines and then doing the Giver coloring. And, and the Giver came out really well. I really like how it came out. And now we're just coloring in the same thing. Also, the, the eyewear is also the same red color and the earring. Let's see what I'm trying to remember what other colors are there for outfits. I mean, is, there, is this metal supposed to be yellow? Also, her hair. I whether this part was supposed to be red. I think it's supposed to be red, yeah. There's a lot of uh, red, whites, and blues. So in hindsight, she looks very Sailor Moony. In terms of colors, they use the colors that they use for her outfit. Okay, let's, uh, let's put in yellow for her hair. Let's give, image. let's give it like a golden yellow. We do need some yellows in the image. Oh my gosh, her hair. Yeah, it's a very bright yellow. I also need to fix the outline for the hand part. I made I made some of the bangs come down from the uh, the eyewear. And also, she does have the crescent moon on her forehead. I gotta draw that in. Yeah, this is going to be a really bright yellow. Make this a little bit bigger. I could probably add some dimension by adding like darker colors and highlights later on. Let's see. But at the moment, this will be the base color. I feel like this is a very bright yellow compared to the guy rares. The camera is very dark colors, the darker blue. So they kind of side by side, they kind of contrast one another.
bright and bold. Also here. It's hard. And size a bit smaller so I can get some of the hair details. The little little corners that I don't need. fix that hair more. So far, so good. Is this white, and then there's a star or moon or something at the center, something like that. That's yellow, and then I think this gem here is also yellow. It's supposed to be like a topaz color. Topaz are usually, I want to say, orange, like amber. Ish. Topaz and Amber, if I recall. I don't know my, my gems too well. Or at least I don't know that. Man, that's a very bright yellow. Um, and then the rest of the outfit's like white, right? So now let's get her skin. Actually, no, let's color in the whites. Yeah, let's get the whites in there. Not not entirely white white, but let's go with like let's get like a a side of blue in there. All right, let's see this in the next like five or ten minutes if I can. Oh wow, this is a bright, a bright white. This is this is even brighter than the uh, the eyes of the Giver. I might want to go back into the uh, to the Giver and add some highlights to the eyes to make it like shine and stuff. Like make it glow a bit. You get to color the eyes, so it's fine. I think the, the next time I, I think next week I'll probably uh, do a little bit more coloring on this, especially Sailor V, finishing up everything, finalizing it, and then adding like a simple background. This part here is also white. <laughs> and then the shield here. Oh, I forgot this part is also red.
I'm not sure if this part here it would be red. Or I think it would be this. It would go here, it should be white. Bright white. So make sure that to make the background not white so it won't be blinding. Alright. Then also the necklace part is also white. Hmm. Okay. Let's make, let's make part of the... Oh, it's gonna be the color part. Yeah, I wanna make sure the... Uh... Oh, I should make that the highlight part, right? Highlight layer? For the eyewear? I think that makes sense. I make that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so now we we'll just add the skin color. Okay, I wanna make this part here. Some reds. This, this, um, this part. Is it this part? Or... It might be a little bit. It's going to be darker red. I'm not sure now. Let's try a darker red and see how it Get the blue one on the edge here. Hmm. There you go. So like that. It's a much uh, thicker stripe than like the other scouts' cape part. There you go, something like that. Very... Uh, lots of primary colors. Alright, let's add some skin colors. Semi humanly peach. I think this should do it. Let's see this really quick. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty decent color. The color selections so far won't be appearing when I reopen this project. Mm -hmm. Having the basic colors down allowed me to select the color layer on with the eyedropper or color picker. So yeah, leaving it as yeah, full colors. So just passing so I can give like that. Look down here. I feel like I should go with a lighter color. Let's see how it looks with lighter color. Oh my gosh, lighter color. Getting the tones to look the way they should. It's just Also be she also has a belly button shell too unlike the uh, the other scout design
I guess they cover it up because it's gonna be like read by children, seen by children. I'm just gonna cover the hands, arms for now. And the legs. And the legs got like different tones. So I'm probably going to finish this next time, because this is all the time I have for tonight. Let me save this. Alright, thanks everyone for tuning uh, in. And normal well, thanks for the follow too. I'll be continuing this next week. Finish up the Giver, Sailor V together. This was meant for the month of May. And month the, the May is already over now. We're in June 2nd. So I'm gonna try and finish this up ASAP. So uh yeah. Have yourselves a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>